Hey everybody, check out the non-jamming Prusik for hammock suspension. So what you're looking at here is some blue one inch webbing and then in yellow is the non-jamming Prusik. So this is made to replace the buckle, it rides on your line and allows adjustability and it ties off with either a Beckett hitch or a stopper knot. So to tie this off you would use the Beckett hitch like this or you can tie a stopper knot into the webbing slippery stopper knot that is tying a knot with a loop pulled through and then your hammock rides up against that knot and it will support your weight the connection to the hammock is done with the soft link so this is much like my improved Beckett hitch or soft buckle suspension so here I am soft linking a continuous loop to the non-jamming Prusik and this would represent where my hammock would connect So this is an Evo loop on one side, a universal loop on the other side, and it can be either Prusik, as you see here, or just Lark's headed here, so it rides on the webbing. What makes this so functional is the Lark's head doesn't jam. So I'll show you a normal Lark's head. This is one of my soft buckle suspension a lark's head here to the line, a pull handle for the lark's head, and then the soft link, my hammock. So with this lark's head, it tends to jam. So the pull handle fixes that. I really enjoy using the pull handle. However, the pull handle doesn't push it in the right spot exactly. The spot to loosen a prusik is right here. And when you loosen a prusik on the line, sometimes it ends up just spinning around or the whole line spins with it. So with this one, you have the leverage of this knot. Instead of having to push on that little piece of cord, you have instant power right there. It opens it up instantly. A normal Prusik, this little piece of cord right here that I'm touching, when this pulls tight, it'll form a V and it'll jam these two lines into it. And sometimes you can even get this little issue I'll show you. Occasionally you can get where it will try to wrap the line into the Prusik like this, like that. And so you end up with, sometimes you get jamming issues. Usually with the pull handle, it solves almost all of them. But with the pull handle, the pull handle kind of gets in the way, like when you go to tie the Beckett hitch. And so it just makes it a little more finicky because you have to kind of get that out of the way when you tie the knot. With this one, you can just quickly tie the knot or quickly tie a stopper knot. And anytime you want to adjust it, you simply pull here and it slides up and down and then you might notice that if I pull here it can also just like fall off so to fix that issue this loop has been spliced the specific size so check it out back to the Lark's head now I'm going to take the large button knot go through that loop and pull the Lark's head tight again now you see that loop is just hanging out and what that means when I grab a hold of this to loosen it if I pull all the way, the loop just runs up against the knot and yeah, it will slide up and down really freely, but it won't fall off. And the proper way to adjust this is just to loosen it with this and then adjust it by sliding it. If you try to uh, do everything right here, you, that's when this gets completely loose. But with that loop, it's never gonna fall off. So it allows you easy Easy connection to your hammock via the soft link. It allows trouble-free Beckett hitch tying and on tying, as well as uh, the ability to use a stopper knot. If you're using the stopper knot on your webbing, like with Dyneema webbing, I would recommend not just a Lark's head, but a Prusik because it spreads the load out on the Dyneema webbing over a farther area. And it also makes absolutely sure that the knot can't pull through here. So if you like this concept, but you don't want to bother splicing up one of these or you don't want to buy one, you already have a bunch of loops, no problem. Let's say you have an Evo loop on the end of your hammock. He likes this. So just take that Evo loop and flip a Lark's head into it like that. And then, oops, and then you're going to drop the webbing 
through the lark's head. Okay. So flip the lark's head into there and then pull your webbing through. And where I'm holding it with my hand right here would be where your hammock is. So I'm gonna pull the webbing through and show you. Okay, so now this right here would be your hammock and you got the lark's head on here. The knot provides you the quick lark's head release and adjustment. And now you can just tie the becket hitch. You can finish off right here, tying the becket hitch. And if the becket hitch jams, like sometimes they do where you really have to pull, you have this knot to help you release it. Additionally, if you pull up this way, when you release the lark's head, it will help the lark's head or the becket hitch release. And then just like before, you can also tie a stopper knot right here. So what if you just have a continuous loop on the end of your hammock and you want to try this? You can still do it. Take your continuous loop as long as you have enough length. Tie an overhand knot like this with both strands. Yes, the knot will hold. And then just like with the Evo loop, flip a lark set into it and pass the webbing through. And since I don't have a hammock connected to here, I can just do the lark set. But normally, right here, you would have your hammock. And with your hammock connected right here also, when you grab this to loosen it, there's no worries about it ever falling off because you would have to pull your whole hammock through there. So now here's your hammock, here's your lark's head onto the line, and you can just go and tie that becca hitch. This is probably sounding familiar. Tie the becca hitch or tie a stopper knot. So you can do this. You can try this concept out with whatever existing continuous loops that you have. So you don't necessarily need this. However, it does make it really easy and fast. All right, thanks for watching. In, pre in upcoming videos, I will show you how to make one of these. Here it is completely off the line. It's just the Evo loop on one side, universal loop on the other side with about a three quarter inch loop.